Hi everybody, it's Leslie with just a little video about the solar eclipse. I've had so many questions about it. This is not about the planets or the astro astrological um, look at it. This is just what the influences that a solar eclipse can do for all of us. Um, this month we're, we have, we will, and we have experienced one powerful eclipse that will trigger emotional awareness and a shift in consciousness that will help us to make necessary life changes. We will like, likely be reminded of work we began back in February when we experienced the first set of eclipses in 2017. On a bigger scale, this month's eclipses represent life themes and lessons that are part of the 19-year cycle. Though back in August 1998, for clues to your own current situation, look back to that. Look back to 1998 August if you can to see things that were happening for you. We are under a Mercury retrograde, so, so that makes a big difference with the solar eclipse. Time to initiate change, inspiring us to do what we need to do. Wait until new moon on the 20th to take direct action. Lunar eclipses in Aquarius highlights freedom, friends, and future. And you know, as Aquarius, we, it is freedom, friends, and future, and love. Humanitarian rights will be a big theme and we may feel strong need to exercise our personal freedom. This will be a focus on creating win-win outcomes and considering the greater good of any situation. The lunar eclipse will be in Aquarius, a sign associated with sudden change by staying flexible when faced with unexpected circumstances. We'll be able to find opportunities for growth during this time frame. We are scheduled to open our minds to new ideas now and um, um, and new ideas will be, um, during this eclipse, it will be important to honor our individuality and celebrate our unique traits. And uh, let me stop just here a minute and say, this is really important because for each and every one of us, we know what we need to change. We know what we've needed to do and we put it off. We don't get it done. It doesn't happen. You're very busy. This is a time after the eclipse, uh, after, after the eclipse and after Mercury goes direct to start doing those things, you will have the energy. You will almost be pushed to do that at this time. It's, it'll feel good. It'll feel very good for you. A lunar eclipse is high, high power, powered full moon that magnifies emotions and it will be very emotional. I'll take a step back and avoid overreacting as situations will likely feel more dire than they actually are. And you know, always the next day things seem better. When things first happen, sometimes we really, uh, really react to them. Take a step back, take a day, and look at them. <laughs> and Sue's such a good videographer and helper here. Solar eclipse in Leo inspires us to follow our hearts. Solar eclipses symbolize new beginnings as a high-powered new moons. Because this month's solar eclipse will occur during a retrograde Mercury cycle, similar to what we said about the lunar eclipse, it will be available to delay many big, it will be available and advisable to make any new or commitment decisions in a plan of action until after September, when the new, after September new moon, actually, it'll be better, um, you can go ahead with it after, after Mercury's no longer retrograde, but you'd be better to wait until after the new moon of the 20th. When the shadow phase of this phenomenon has ended, because any, any big change, things have a shadow phase, and they do take two or three days one way, two or three days another way, sometimes seven days one way, sometimes they never. This way it'll be perfectly clear and things can start happening. We would be wise to take note of our ideas around the time of its occurrence and to revisit them. During the second half of September, the August 21st solar eclipse will stimulate our desire for joy, playfulness, and creativity. It will be a great time to remember those activities we enjoyed as children. Uh, you can bring some real joy and pleasure back into your life now. The importance of receiving and expressing love will be highlighted and it will be a wonderful period for celebrations and appreciation of loved ones. We'll be inspired to build confidence and practice bold self-expression, which for a lot of you, you haven't been able to do that. But now, it, it will, if things are changing, it's almost like a big curtain is lifting and things will become much easier and better for you and fun and, and you'll have much more joy and laughter and happiness in your life. Um, the, the Leo <clears throat> solar eclipse will teach us about the value of participating in life. 
and contributing and participating in life. And there's so many, many people that hold back for many reasons. Um, most of them good only because they're afraid to participate and contribute. Contributing to any situation, any relationship is necessary for it to keep going. Over the next six months, we'll be encouraged to take control of our destiny, to put more of ourselves and our heart and soul into our work and relationships. Enjoy this time. It's the first, it probably won't happen again for maybe another 99 years, this type of thing. Enjoy it. It's giving us a gift. Things are going to change. If things have been same, same all the time or just not good, not real happy and you wonder whenever they're going to change. Over the next six months, things will change for you and they'll be so much better. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Have a wonderful rest of the month. Bye-bye.